Hello, my name is Jurgen, and welcome back to Armored Warfare. Today I have some gameplay from the PTS server, Balance 2.0, Malarkey, Patch 019.3 as it lists when I was playing this. As you can see, I'm playing in the PT-76 on Cold Strike, so an old vehicle, an old map, but with a whole set of new characteristics for the vehicle. Some of which are quite similar, I must add, but some notable changes with regards to hit points, rate of fire, or rather, sorry, damage per minute, not rate of fire, and penetration and alpha damage. So looking between 018, which is the current game now, and this version, we can see that the damage of the gun firing heat it has changed from 231 on average to 304. The penetration has gone up by a huge margin as well to 220 from 126. Currently on the screen though, a cold strike change. Now I'm not sure this is going to be as it is uh, or as it will be rather for when Balance 2.0 rolls out but you can't seem to get on top of the hill anymore where the castle is. Which means vehicles with good gun depression slash good turret armor are gonna, you know, have to fight on level ground with everyone else. Kind of seems a bit pointless having that feature up there. But never mind. Uh, it is what it is. Anyway, sustained damage has changed, or rather damage per minute, has changed from 2,421 to 3,165. About 700 more damage per minute. Which is due to the fact that you do more damage per shot, not the fact that you have a better reload time. You have a slightly or marginally worse reload time from 5.72 to 5.76. The hit points, 840 in the current patch, going up to 1825. All vehicles have re uh, received health points, uh, some more than others of course, but the tier 1s now have astronomically more hit points than they did, and this is good because you can now take more hits. Uh, if you're caught out of position, you're not instantly killed as you were before. 250 damage into this tank originally would deal, you know, two shots, 500 health, and then another shot, you're on 750, so four shots and you'd be dead on average from the same tank. Now it's gone up to about six, which, you know, six or seven rather, which could be better, but you should be able to react quicker than you once did. Identify. Now your speed is apparently 36 in both patches, uh, 36 kilometers an hour top speed. I don't think this is the case as we saw that the vehicle was doing over 36 at the beginning of the game. A couple of quick kills there on higher tier targets, 255s, one through the lower plate, one through the upper plate. The aim indicator has changed also, where it's gone from green, amber and red. That still remains, but green no longer means guaranteed penetration, or like 95-99% penetration guarantee. Now it's 50%, which I'm not really a fan of, if I'm being perfectly frank. Uh, hull traverse and acceleration time are similar, slightly worse in the new game. Uh, it tells you your vehicle weight as well, 13,000 kilos. Uh, it didn't tell you that in the previous patch in the vehicle stats list. Camouflage rating has gone up from 0.175 from all sides to 0.275. So a small buff, I believe. Well, quite a large buff, in fact. View range has gone down by 30 meters. I don't have any equipment on this vehicle, and I don't think I did at tier 1. I don't think you were allowed to, in fact. Uh, this now has three slots for retrofits. The retrofits have changed quite significantly. We may take a look at that uh, if I have the chance. Aim time has remained similar, maybe a little bit better, in fact, in the new uh, patch. But your accuracy has gone way, way up, along with every other vehicle, so... It isn't as bad as it looks in my experience so far. The shells generally go where they should do. It's just your aim circle is a lot larger than it used to be. But I haven't seen too many shells deviating to the sides of the circle that much. I need to play a bit more to confirm or deny this. I'm not sure at the moment. But 
It doesn't seem to impact the game too much, and the turret traverse in this vehicle has gone down by 5 or so degrees, which is a little disappointing. The vehicle feels a little slower to target acquisition now. We get spotted there. Stupidly, we reverse back and take an unnecessary hit, but thankfully, we managed to return one into it. I've also noticed heat rounds, and I'm not sure this is a bug currently, have a lot of um, I'm not sure this is intentional, but heat rounds seem to have higher penetration at lower tiers than AP rounds. So the point of firing AP, I guess, is for longer ranges because they still retain their faster flight time as opposed to heat rounds, which are generally slower, along with HE. They've changed Hesh as well to be a much more powerful round. Before it used to be just a similar high explosive type. Uh, now it has a lot more penetration, and in fact, the Chieftain, Mark II anyway, is, uh, while well, at stock, only equipped with Hesh rounds, which have 200 pen, which I thought was a little low and a little annoying. Another change for Cold Strike here, you may have noticed one in the town earlier, there's a lot less buildings, but here there's an alleyway between these two rocks, which didn't exist before, uh, I don't think. So, more flanking opportunities, less corridory. Uh, by adding more corridors, I guess. Um, <laughs> I didn't really think about that. But changes to the map, we'll have to see how people like this or not. New vehicle in front of me here, another tier 2 vehicle added. Uh, seems to be equipped with a heat launcher. I do have some gameplay of this. It's quite fast. It's a very lightly armed, sorry, armoured vehicle, but it does better damage than I do. Uh, and it's tier 2, but I can still damage him. He has slightly worse hit points than I do as well, which is interesting considering he's a tier higher. But that was my first PT-76 game in the 019 Balance 2.0 server PTS. I have some more gameplay for other vehicles coming up, but we'll just skip on through to the post-game stats for this match. So, 4,365 damage done, 775 spots, 10 spotted. Lots of good things here. 77,000 uh, credits earned, 4,000 reputation. Damage is going to be a lot higher than you're used to in the current game because vehicles have a lot more hit points, you have more damage, you have this, that, and the other. Generally, you're going to be doing more damage than you're used to for the same tiers. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll be back with some more. PTS gameplay in higher tier vehicles up to tier 4 currently. And as always, I've been Jujin, and I'll see you chaps and chapettes in the next one.